Okay, y'all. So I've been halfway learning how to speak Spanish, right? Because this is my thing. I plan to do a lot of traveling in my life. So it would be best if I learn how to speak a couple different languages. Because one thing about me, I'm too paranoid to be going somewhere and not knowing what's going on around me. Like, absolutely not, right? So anyway, I've been learning how to speak Spanish. And it's tough because I don't know no Spanish speakers. You know, the, the best I could do was go to Mexican town and try to order some tacos in Spanish or something, right? So I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find some songs I like that have, you know, Spanish in them or whatever and practice learning those songs. So the first song I thought of was La Bamba. I like that song. Parabala, La Bamba. Okay, so I looked up the lyrics. I was like, okay, yeah, this is easy. This is easy, okay? So then I was like, what is this even about? Like, what am I singing, right? So I looked up the translation of it. They talking about this song actually came from black people. Would you believe it, bro? said this song is believed to have originated from enslaved west africans who were brought to mexico by the spaniards right so they used to sing this tune or whatever and they escaped into the mountains and lived with the indigenous people and whatever right what i'm saying is this it's crazy how when you get to the roots of everything it's always black people like you telling me this is a huge song that came from mexico this is a huge song everybody knows this song but nobody even realizes that it came from black people and it's wild because when i sit here and say this when i sit here and say wow did you know that this song actually came from black people it's gonna be a bunch of white people and mexicans and everybody else like oh my god like y'all try to make everything about y'all y'all swear y'all built the pyramids y'all did this y'all did that so and so and so but we did though and let me be clear when i say black people in this context i'm not talking about black americans african americans whatever no i'm talking about black people in general everything literally comes from some sort of black person bro go look it up bro google is talking about there's a tribe or something a clan or something in africa in west africa which is the people who were being abducted and enslaved called the bambara tribe or something like that so you telling me these people were called the bambaras and they got you know abducted and took to spain right and they used to sing some song and now the song is para la bamba la bamba the bambaras like bro this i'm just dog and it's crazy because when i sit here and i say this everybody's gonna be like oh my god like y'all pretend everything comes from y'all everything is about y'all the same way when i was talking about yo i made a video a, a couple months ago and i put the link to it up here i was talking about how i was reading about these different tribes right and hold on i'm gonna I'm look up their names because again i'm not making this stuff up i cannot think of what the video is called right now so i can't like look at what i said in the video but there was an asian woman talking about how the original people i believe of the philippines were black people right and i believe she called them like negritas or something or something like that right so anyway she's talking about this and she mentions like the name of some of them and i googled them right and they literal black people they literal black people it's not like you know how some indian people have dark skin but when you look at them it's clearly not a black person like you can sit me next to somebody from like the country india right and we may have the same skin color but we clearly gonna look different like that's clearly not gonna be a black person right no it was not like that these was actual black people right so then when i looked into them there was some some story about how the the black people who were the original people of these places they were hunted almost to extinction and finally they went up and ended up living in the mountains so that people would leave them alone and i'm like wait you telling me that the people who were the first people here were hunted almost to extinction and finally they had to flee up to the mountains and stuff yada 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 so my question is who are y'all if the if the first people there were the black people and they they up in the mountains and they still won't come around y'all to this day who the hell are y'all so anyway back to la bamba i google what does la bamba translate to because i know la means the so it's saying the something right so there's no direct translation you know into english but it is assumed that la bamba comes from the spanish verb bambolir which means to sway to wobble to shake right so you telling me bambolir means to sway to wobble to shake it sounds like a dance right and we all know that black people have the most rhythm and bambolir again sounds a lot like bambara right okay so you go and you google the translation of these lyrics okay translate the lyrics into english and it says for you to dance the bamba for you to dance the bamba you must have grace something right so i'm just like <laughs> so you telling me these black people were abducted 
and brought over here and they were singing this tune and clearly they got rhythm they dancing so now y'all calling this dance la bamba because they're the the bambara people right and now there's a whole big song talking about dancing la bamba and nobody even realizes that it's all about black people and it actually came from us too and it's just crazy it's crazy because again they finna be in the comments oh y'all always black watching history y'all know they coming